All of us need to be successful and to achieve something special and unique to make our mark on this world. It's a calling that a human being has to feel that he or she achieved something, that you made the money, that you got that family, that you got whatever you're looking for. And there comes a point in time when you get out of this comfortable, homey cocoon that you're in and you go out and you face the world out there. And if we're not aligned correctly, if our minds are not set correctly, it could be very dangerous. See, when you go out there, if you define yourself by the success you hope to achieve, then you're open to failures because the facts of life are that sometimes we're up and sometimes down. And what happens when you're on a downer? You're going to fall into a state of depression. And what happens when you do achieve the goal you set out to achieve? And then you realize that that's not the pinnacle of happiness. What then? It is imperative to align ourselves, our minds, our mindset correctly before we go out. Yaakov, our forefather, was doing just that. For 77 years, he learned Torah. His vocation was spiritual. All day, all night long, that's all he did. He was involved in spiritual pursuits. And then one day, he finds himself out in the world, ready to make his mark. And he traveled all the way to Haran. He arrived at Haran. And he's ready to achieve. He's going to make a lot of money. He's going to build a family. This is the moment. And as he gets to Haran, he realizes, my mindset is not the way it ought to be. I can't do this. So he turned around and went back. And he went all the way back to a holy space. That space was where the Beis Amikdash would be built later on. Yaakov enters that moment. And he's got to dive into Hashem. He wants to get into a space of communion with God. Because you can't go out until you have dove into Hashem. And Yaakov realizes that that tefillah, that connecting to God, is critical for his own success. So what it says is he arrives there and he takes the stones, the rocks, and he places them around his head to fortify him from wild animals. Strange thing to do though. What's the benefit of fortifying your head from wild animals when the rest of your body is not protected? It wasn't external wild animals Yaakov was worried about as much as he was worried about the internal wild animals. There's a vildechaya, a wild animal, inside our heads. It drives you insane. It makes you feel you're never good, never happy, never satisfied. And Yaakov had to fight against that wild animal. Hashem wants me to go out and do my work, but that my mindset should not be defined by the work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to surround my space of my head. My head space needs to change so that when I'm working, I'm not working with my head. I'm working only with my hands. My hands are involved. You eat the sweat of your hands, but your mindset is not defined by it. And what that means is, well, I will not be happier, not one iota, if I succeed in making money and building that family. Whatever happiness I hope to achieve, I already have now. Yaakov fortifies his head now. I'm in a relationship with God and Hashem loves me. That's all I need to know. And I'm special. And whatever I expect to achieve, I already have now because I'm in God's space. And God wants me to go out and do some work. And he wants the world to be transformed through my work. So I'm going to go out and transform the world. And the reason I'm able to do so is because I'm not defined by it. And if we pay careful attention, what happened was those rocks under Yaakov's head, the multiple rocks, all became one. What Yaakov was doing was looking at all the building blocks of life and saying, I'm not scattered all over. It's all one being, one God, one entity. My life is connected. All the things I got to do are all building blocks that Hashem wants me to achieve. But I feel the oneness of God in my life. And when he did so, he was able to be successful. 
See, when you're needy and you face a client, you face a prospective shidduch, and when you're in a needy space, very, very challenging to succeed. But when you're not needy, when you're connected to God and you're hoisted up, nothing can stop you. The sky is the limit. Yaakov, because he connected himself to above, now he was able to go and succeed. When a person feels that God is at his side, he can achieve anything. He becomes the most daring person in the world. And now, now he can be Matzliach.